huh, wait, huh. Baby girl, what you doing with your man? Huh. I just popped a Zan, 50,000 in Japan huh. I ain't do no plan, these red bottoms, I'm no Vans And she telling all her friends, I might put them on the ground hey. Baby girl, what you doing with your man? Huh. I just popped a Zan, 50,000 in Japan huh. I ain't do no plan, these red bottoms, I'm no Vans And she telling all her friends, I might put them on the ground hey. Baby girl, what you... <laughs> anyway, so this is gonna be a makeup tutorial video of how I did this look. I put on Instagram two pictures of makeup ideas that I already did before and I said pick which one y'all want to see for the next makeup tutorial video. More people voted for this one than the other one, so continue watching to see how I made this makeup look. <laughs> then I start plucking the extra hairs that are on my eyebrows on the bottom part and on the top part with this is a little like you know I'm like, uh, eyebrow plucker but Whatever, I just go through and see if I got any extra hairs and I just pluck them out. Then I take this NYX eyebrow cake powder and then I use the brush that's already in here. Oops. It comes with these two little things. So I would like brush my eyebrows out. And then with the brush that's already in there, um, I go with this little brown that's right here. And with this, I just um, shape my eyebrows how I want them. So I start with the bottom part. Then when I, I do the bottom part, then I just like work on the top. Y'all see how I do this. And then I just break it down. And I start filling it in a little bit. Not all crazy. And this is how they look. And what I use to actually like, fill in my eyebrows, like for real, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hill Dip Brow. This is in the color dark brown. So I use the same brush that I use to shape my eyebrows. And I just dip it in here. Pick up some color on the brush. And I wipe the sides off. And I just start filling them in, you see. And I don't mess with the um, the top, the front part of my eyebrows, cause you know, like they still gotta look not dark, all the way dark. They can look filled in, but not like solid, like like a block. And I do the same thing with the other eyebrows. So how I clean up my eyebrows is I use this Master Conceal by Maybelline, number 20, light, whatever, I use this. <laughs> and then I did, I put a little like dot on a dirty beauty blender. Then I just take this little pink brush, I got this brush from Forever 21 and you see, you know, it's kind of already angled up, you'll see why. I did the brush in here on the side that was more like straightened up. Take the extra, rub it on the side, and I start just lining my eyebrows to clean my eyebrows up. So then I dip my brush back into the concealer and I start working with the top part. And I know I look like a nut right now, but this is how it looks when you shape out your eyebrows with the concealer. And what I do is I go back in with the dip brow, get some more on my brush, and any spots that I feel like I miss or I want to fill in right now, I would just go over and start doing that. When I'm done, you know, filling them in again, I just take this brush. It was in a pack with the other brush I just used from Forever 21, and then I just start blending it in. I mean, I blended in with my um, eyelids. Oh my God, that took so long. And I do that with both sides. So I'm done blending them in. I know it looks like real like bright and light, like lighter than my skin color, but that's cool because when I start putting the foundation in, it's gonna like blend together. So it's cool. If you watch my first makeup video, you understand why I'm using this kind of tape, not the scotch tape, is because I ran out. And if you didn't watch my first makeup, just worry, I'm gonna put the link in the description below. So I just get like two pieces of tape. I mean, where's my scissors?
part that's more straight, I line it up with this part of my eyes and I lift it up. So, like I said, I put the tape right here, starting with that part, and I just lay down. I do a couple like centimeters away from my eyebrows, you see? And then I do the same thing with the other piece of tape with the other eye. And make sure that both sides look even, okay? So I'm going to start with my eyes. I use this um, Tarte Pro palette. So I use this crease brush. And I go in with the color Vintage. This white right here. And I always, before I do my makeup, I always put this white on my eyelids. I'm going to use primer for my eyes, that's why I just use white as like a base. So the first color that I use to put on my eyelids is bold, this brown right here. I'm using a concealer brush, but whatever. Anyways, so I just put some on the brush, and I just put it all over my eyelids. And then I do the same with the other side. So I just put it all on my eyelids just like a little soft brown to start off with take this crease diffuser brush i got this for christmas so i don't know where you can actually get it from and then i go with the color edgy that dark brown right there dip my brush up in it and what i do is all right i'm not going to explain that much i can just see what's going on here So I am putting glitter on, so I'm going to use this NYX glitter primer. And so this is how the bottle looks. It's um broken, so every time I squeeze the glue out of here, it don't come out from the top, it comes out from the side. So I don't know what side it comes out of. So yeah, I see it right there. I don't know what this brush is called, and I got it from Rodix. Oh. It's a conceal brush, but I'm not using it for concealer. So, you, need, you got like a little flat tip. I dip it up in there. Hold on to me, that's basic, maybe fucking I'm shame. So when I got the amount that I want on my brush, I start putting the glue, not all the way on my eyelids, but like halfway, or like a little more than halfway on my eyelids. So y'all will see. So y'all see where it's at. It don't have to be perfect or anything. So now I use this pat and blend brush. I got this for Christmas too. And I use this NYX glitter. Whatever. I just dip it in here. Get some on a brush. And then I put the glitter on top of the glitter um, glue. So this is how it looks after you put the glitter on top of the glue. You can always go back and fix it if you don't like the way it's shaped or if you do, if you put more glitter on this side and not a lot on the other. Alright, so this is how it looks when it's done. I feel like this TV is way too bad. So I'm going to use the same brush that I used with this dark brown. This is the um, crease diffuser brush. And I'm going to go back in with bold, the light brown. And I'm going to put it on the top part on top of the brown and then I do the same with the other eye so after I'm done putting the brown on top of the with well, the light brown on top of the dark brown this is how it looks and then I start with eyeliner now I use this NYX super fat eye marker if you see my first makeup tutorial you will see that I got mad because the eyeliner that I had was very like it, it was running out so I, like I put my brush like this 
to the side. And I like line it up to how long I want my eyeliner to be. And then I bring it down. I start from this part and I start like breaking like half my cinema so now I flip the brush like this and I pull my eye back and I try to make it thin on this part damn I'm gonna have glitter on this now so yeah I start you know putting the eyeliner from here halfway and then I go back to the end of this one and then I connect it Alright, so I do the same thing on the other eye. Now I'm done with my eyeliner, and all I do is take the tape off. And I'm telling you this right now, my eyeliners are never even, and my eyeliner is never like. So you see, this is how it looks right now. So then I just get my eyelash curler and I start curling my lashes. After I'm done curling my eyelashes, I put mascara on and I use this better than sex. You can get this at Sephora. It's a real good mascara. So I just like clean up the sides and the top part so it's not like clumpy. And then I just start putting the mascara on. I start from this side and I start like moving my like mascara brush like this so I can kind of like curl up a little bit. Look at my eyelashes, they're like glued together because of the glue that I use for the glitter. It's cool though, it's cool. Anyway, so I start working on my face now that I'm done with my eyebrows and my eyes. I'm done with this part and I gotta work on this part. I use this primer from Wet n Wild. It's a good primer. I know Wet n Wild is not a good brand to get makeup from. I need more of this. So I get like this much. I rub it in with my hands and I just apply it everywhere or all over my face. Then I start putting my foundation on top of the primer and I use this matte poreless Zip Me Foundation number 120. So I put the foundation on that beauty blender and I make dots on my face. So when I'm done putting the dots and I take the same beauty blender and then I start dabbing. I dab all the foundation in with my skin. I know when I made my first makeup tutorial video, when I look back at the video, I realized I forgot to put foundation on this part. Like, you know where I put my, well, when you wear glasses, you know, that part right there. That's the only spot I missed to put foundation on. But I even have my glasses on, so I don't know how I missed that part. But if you peeped, I peeped too. <laughs> So, this is all blended in now. Hopefully, I didn't miss the spots that I missed the last time. <laughs> then I go in with concealer, and I use this Fit Me concealer. It's a different one than the one I use for my eyebrows, and it's the number 10 light. Just like this. And everybody has a stick on it. So, I already use a stick that's already there, and I make two loops underneath my eyes since I do got bags. So they could be noticeable some days, some days they're not. And I do like two loops, two little loops next to my like nose. And then I feel like I have like little pimples or like pimples right here. I just put extra concealer. Like I got a little one in here. Not like pimples, but like bumps or like things that like, you know, if you know what I mean. So then I take the same beauty blender that I use for the foundation and I just start blending the concealer in. And I dab too. The same way I was dabbing, 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 whatever though. With the foundation. I do the same with the concealer. Now that my concealer is blended in, I take this brush that I got from a store in Philly, and I just blend everything together. You know how I was dapping? With this brush, I just like basically, you know, first smearing. And it's okay that your concealer is um 
later than your foundation because where you put your concealer at is where it like brightens up. So I put it right here, so this can be more bright, and I put it right here, so it's more like brighten. Now everything is blended in. I'm done with that. I'm gonna start with my concealer. Let me use this LA Colors Contour Palette. I'm gonna take this brown right here, and I'm using a blush brush, but you know I'm not gonna use it for blush, I'm using it for contour. So I make like a little circle right here. I'm gonna go down. But you really not. So I put some on this side, I put some on this side. Hopefully it don't look too dark. If it does, I'll fix up. But I also put contour on like my temple. On both sides. And I get more of the contour powder and I put some on my um, forehead. Now I'm gonna take my petite stippling brush with my little sample. I know this is an Anastasia highlight highlighter, but I don't know what kind it is. I got ready for this. So, so I just put it on this part. Like that your cheekbone? Yeah. I kinda smile inside. So you can really get like the cheekbone cheekbone. So then I take this pencil brush, I dip it in here, and then I put a little bowl. I would usually put it right here, but since the glitter's already there, I'm gonna just try to like. I'm gonna do the same for the other side. So you see where I put the highlight at, and then I put highlight on my brow bone. I highlight my eyebrow. I'm gonna use this Covered Girl lip gloss. It has no like number or name of what color it is. It just looks like this. For my lips, I don't like, I don't really like lipstick. Like when I wore the red one for that one um, video, it was my first time wearing lipstick in like the longest. I don't really like lipstick, I don't really like lip gloss or like that. I prefer like chapstick and if I do wear lip gloss, I wear a clear lip gloss or I wear like a pink lip gloss. So I use the same petite stippling brush. I get a little on the corners and then I put my lips like this. And then I put um, highlight on here. I think it's called your Cupid Circle or something like that. If I'm wrong, correct me, but whatever. All right, so the last thing I do is put eyelash, and I use this Kiss eyelash strip glue and I use I'm using these lashes it's a natural multi-pack from Ardell I know the last time when I made my makeup tutorial video I didn't get the clip where I put the eyelashes on but for this video y'all see how I put eyelashes on I don't do it professionally but whatever the glue on the eyelash So I put on my eyelash is that just gotta watch. Alright, so this is the ending of this makeup tutorial. I hope y'all like. Give this video a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe and comment any videos y'all want to see in the future. Or y'all can text me.